Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is a national holiday. But, um, spoiler alert, <laughs> I did not finish my project. I tried, but my kids just keep needing me. <laughs> so I kept trying yesterday to work on it, and I kept getting interrupted. And I kept, this morning, earlier this morning, I kept trying to work on it, and I kept getting interrupted, as kids do, you know. So I, um, I, I wanted to record this video and get it out, but my project is only, like, halfway done <laughs> if that but anyways today is world uh ocean day so happy world ocean day and i love me and devin and jesse and hopefully june love everything to do with like ocean critters and uh we love going to the aquarium and going to the aquarium helps support ocean critters because they uh just like zoos nowadays i know like older days zoos and aquariums were bad because they tr mistreated the animals and like SeaWorld still is really bad, but <laughs> aquariums and zoos nowadays, they, all the, most of the money that they raise other than, you know, maintaining the zoo and paying the people who work there goes towards, um, learning about animals and treating animals that can't be released back into the wild that are either injured or have been in captivity. A lot of zoo animals are animals that people who shouldn't have, but purchase, you know, like rich people who purchase fancy animals so that they can look cool. Um, the, you know, they're taking those away from those people and giving them the best life they can because they can't just put them back out in the wild because they'll die, you know. But anyways, and they raise money for research and stuff like that. So support your local zoos and aquariums, but probably not SeaWorld. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, celebrate animals and take care of them so that your kids and grandkids and et cetera, et cetera, can see them too and enjoy them. So what I did is, okay, y'all are already going to know this, what book I'm pulling this from, because I've talked about this book a million and one times, but it is the Plenty of Fish in the Sea book by Olive at String and Ding Ding. I absolutely love this book. And I've made every single pattern in it, except two. A two? Yes, I think two. One book. There's a page here, here, right here that shows everything that's in the book. I'll leave this link below if you want to check it out. <laughs> Let's talk about all the time, though. So I've made all of these patterns except the dolphin and the puffer fish. But I've made the rest. Oh, and the clown. I forgot. I didn't make the clown. So three. <laughs> but I've made the rest of these. And some of these I've made multiple times. So I want to um, make them all. I absolutely love her patterns. Even her non-fish related patterns are amazing. So definitely check out her website. And all her patterns are free. So you can get them free from her blog part of her website or you can purchase the pdf of them or you can join her monthly subscription to where you every time she puts out a free or a pattern you get you immediately get the free download well you have to go download it but um it's really cool it's called i think they're called ding dongs so i've been a ding dong since the day one and i will always be a ding dong but anyway so i'm working on the dolphin because i really wanted to make it it was really cute so i pulled some yarn out of my stash up here and it is a purple red heart it's called light jasmine I believe this is one of the ones I got recently from Rose um, in a package she sent. It's a really pretty color. I like it. And I'm using a G-Hook, which is a 4 millimeter. It's my little Christmas sheep. My sister got me multiple years ago. But thanks to the kids and needing me, <laughs> I've only been able to get this much done. <laughs> but it's cute. Look how cute it is. It is already so cute. It's actually a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. But, um, I like it a lot. I think this yarn's perfect. I was going to do, like, a blue color, but I, think, I thought this purple was pretty. So, I wanted to pull this purple down and use it. So, I'm getting there. I'm in the part now where I'm starting to decrease toward the, where the tail will go. Uh, and then I got to make the tail fin tail. <laughs> the top, the dorsal, I guess, fin. And then the two side fins. And I think that's it. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm like, halfway done. Maybe before I edit this, maybe I can get in there because both kids are asleep right now. <laughs> they both fell asleep, <laughs> so they're both taking a nap. But um, maybe I can get a lot of it done and show it at the end. I'm going to try to do that, but right now my mom just messaged me, so I got to go see what she wants. <laughs> but anyways, so happy World Ocean Day. And if there's a clip after this, then I finished it. If not, I didn't have the time. <laughs> so uh, celebrate the fishies and take care of them. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the video. Bye, guys.